What's going on? It's your boy, yes, it's big. All right, so we are talking about is Amazon going to take over the world with AI? All right, maybe not the world, but think about it though. They scale is pretty big. When you look at AWS, how many companies is under that? Um, Amazon delivery, the network of Amazon is huge. Could they take over the world with AI? Huh, I don't know. Anyways, but what we talking about though, um, there was a press release with Amazon. They just invested another like 1.4 or 1 point something billion into AI. So that brings a total of their investment to like $4 billion into AI. I know a little something about Amazon. You feel me? I've worked at the warehouse from the warehouse to delivery to delivery to corporate. I know a little bit of something. And one thing I know about Amazon they ain't wasting no money. <laughs> you know what I mean? They not wasting no money and they ain't wasting no labor. No labor hours is getting wasted. They running thin. They running lean. But the whole reason why I say that is to say they are looking or there's some type of return they're going to get from all of this investment with AI. So I'm calling it now. I give it two and a half to three years until Amazon's fully automated. <laughs> so when I see all this investment and all this stuff, because it ain't just Amazon, so many companies are invested into AI right now. But when I just look at Amazon, because not only can I just go off of where the money's going, what people are saying, but what I've seen with Amazon, I personally seen, we're gonna talk about that a little bit, the advancement that they have made with automation, that they have made with robots. I've seen it with these right here, working in the warehouse, working with the company. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. I've only been with the company like four years and have seen leaps and bounds that they have made. But we've touched on this topic a few times and my stance stays the same. I think two and a half, three years, I think we're gonna see a, a lot of jobs, a lot of positions, a lot of human positions taken away. I wouldn't say taken away, that's what it is, but, but you know they use other words. I would say replaced with AI. I say two and a half, three years that quick, I think Amazon could almost be fully, almost automated by that time. And it's funny because that was just the thought that I've always had about two to three years. There's an article that I'm going to read and the numbers is pretty crazy about what they're projecting. Um, you know, Harvard, all these other places did studies and all that stuff, what it's projected to look like. So we have some numbers on that. But off my personal, with my eyes, what I've seen, look at what they've done already. Now, I mean, most recently, you know, they got these robots that's stowing. They got pack machines that pack by themselves already to the point they have real robots <laughs> that's moving stuff around ready to load some trailers or load some pods with something but that's like the extreme and that's like where they're at now the advancement but i think most people overlook the robots that they already have with the company and the advancement that they already made if you've never been in the amazon facility they have these things called pods that move around and these little machines that move all the items in bins to the associate to put stuff in there. Those are robots. When I first came to Amazon, there were associates who said that they were at older buildings. I forgot what they was called. I don't know if it's called Legacy or something older than that. I'm not sure, but this is where they didn't have those little um, robots bringing or moving around those pods. So the associates and stowers had to go walk to go get the items. Just by those AR floors, those robots, that cut labor hours by a gajillion hours alone and then from the time that i was there i started off in the um for those of you that don't work at um amazon it's a warehouse inbound outbound all these different departments so i started off in a department called inbound uh, for those of you that work there i was a stower i was there when you had a a, a a little scan gun you had to scan the item put it into the bin scan the bin just from my i was in the warehouse for a year just about two years and by my time being there they already transformed it to where they took the scan guns away they put in these sensors where you scan the items with that throughout the whole warehouse through every warehouse and then from there it got to the point where the little machine was shining the light on where you can put it and then from there they took away the trainers and you was now being trained what by the computer there was still an ambassador around but they took you know most of the training off the the, the human's hands put it on the computer the way the work used to get up to the stations, it would come from the trailer. You would have indirects who would use the pallet jacks to bring the pallets up this thing called a VRC, pull them to the stations. Now there's some buildings, it's going straight from, from the dock area to conveyors directly to the station. So what I'm saying is that's not even by me sitting down and thinking about what I remember. That's just me briefly thinking about what I've seen. All that was in two years where they rolled all those things out 
and changed all those things in all the facilities, except where the work's going straight to the, the station. They haven't rolled that out to all the facilities yet, but this is the thing, they have the blueprint to do so. And then I can't forget about me going on the away team to San 3 in San Diego. There's a whole floor of robot, robot arms. <laughs> you feel me? Robot arms. When they took me down there, I was like, hey, uh, Hey, bro, bro, we, we, we supposed to be here. <laughs> it's just like, all you see is a little arm look like this. It grabs the thing and put it in the thing on the floor onto some other robots. And them other robots go take and they dump it somewhere. A whole floor just full of robot arms. I'm telling you, drop it in the comment section if you think I'm tripping. If you think two years is too soon, drop it in the comment section. What do you estimate the time frame of... I don't want to say Amazon and all, it's not just Amazon, all these companies. That's what I'm saying. They're getting the blueprint. I think they already got it. All these different industries are getting the AI blueprint down now. Once the blueprint is created, the wave is coming. Then it's the rollout. That's all they have to do once the blueprint is created is roll it out. How long do y'all think before we start really seeing a loss of these jobs due to AI. I'm saying two and a half to three years. Let me know your thoughts. And this is the thing. It ain't just Amazon. Bruh, they got <laughs> machine barbers. They got, I'm going to put some little clips on here um, on the screen. There's out here, out here. This is the first place I've seen this. Nobody told me about this. I didn't see no commercials. I didn't see no sponsored ads until afterwards. I didn't see no, I didn't, I didn't vote for this. <laughs> I didn't get to vote. Hey, do you want self-driving cars in your city? I didn't vote for that. I'm over here riding to work. You feel me? I got a podcast going. My mood motivated. You feel me? Mind right. Six in the morning going to work. You feel me? In the mirror, giving myself the speech. So I'm at a stoplight. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just chilling. I'm feeling good. It's a good day at work. I'm in a city called Tempe, downtown. <sighs> Let me calm down. <laughs> I'm getting ready to make a left turn. So I'm chilling. I'm always looking at my surroundings. I'm seeing somebody's head in a car just move around like out of the ordinary. So it causes me to look like, yo, what's up with this dude? And he over there like looking like he sees something. I'm like, yo, wait, you know, you feel me? Like we, we, we able to carry out here. So I'm like, hold up. What do you see? <laughs> but as I look, it's this car next to him. It's a white car. I'm going to put it up here. As I'm explaining this, I'm going to loop it so you can see it. It's a white car and it has these little things all around it. It drives itself. Nobody told me this. I didn't vote for this. <laughs> Nobody told me this was coming. They didn't say, hey, be aware. We're going to have some self-driving cars in traffic with you. No. I'm So I'm sitting, the light turned green, and I'm looking. And I ain't going to lie. I'm staring at it hard. I'm mad dog in the car. I don't like AI. It was turning, so I'm looking at it. Ain't nobody in it. Steering wheel moving. And it's whipping too. It's, it's whipping, blinker and everything. Just swoop. And I'm looking at my rear view. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm looking like, you know, like this is crazy. And now I see that thing every time I'm in the city. Now I see the commercials and this thing that's playing. I see that now. And I've seen it in person. Somebody in my office got dropped off as I'm leaving work. Right out the front office, somebody's getting out of the back seat with nobody driving. Anyways, <laughs> I say that to say, all industries, I believe, are going to get hit hard by this. I mean, just look at that alone, the driving industry. What would that affect? Domino's, go look it up. They got self-driving um, pizza cars. Hi, your Domino's is here. Input the last four digits of your phone number. The Domino's heat wave container is open. You can safely remove your order now. Thanks for using Domino's self-driving delivery vehicle. Oh, that's cool. We Not including, go look it up. Uh, McDonald's has a full, they already fully automated. Fully automated, I think it's in Texas, somewhere like that, I don't know. Fully automated from the start to the finish. When I went to a store out here, um, I'm out here in Arizona, went into a Circle K, nobody was there, you feel me? It was just the self-pay in the front. I'm looking around. I'm black. You feel me? It's in Scottsdale. You feel me? I'm looking around like, oh, yeah, this is a setup. Y'all not finna get me. You feel me? Like, yeah, somebody in the back. I know y'all watching. You feel me? You trying to play me. I'm not that type. Come on out to the front because I got to go. 
nobody came out to the front. You feel me? So I'm walked around, looked around. You feel me? Looking, peeking in the back. Nobody came out. I go scan my stuff. You feel me? Like, all right. <laughs> I paid for my stuff. I'm finna leave. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was a setup. But I'm now starting to see these things right in front of my face. My guy, a self-driving car pulled up right next to me. I'm gonna actually download the app and go on it just so we can vlog it because I wanted to record that like, yo, this is crazy. Um, so be sure to um, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't yet. I am going to record that. Hopefully within this month, I'm gonna go out there, download the app so we can have a trip on this channel on this self-driving car, crazy. I even think once they have it all down, it's gonna get to the point where these FedExes, these um, Amazons, UPS, USPS, where that can even be done by some self-driving cars. And I don't think we're talking no 10 years, maybe five, or like I said, at least when it comes to the warehouse type of work, um, I think we're like two and a half years, two, three quarters to three years. All right, so I'm just going to read a few little pieces from this article real quick, and it's talking about um, how will AI affect jobs, how many jobs will be replaced by AI by the year 2030. I'm going to have this linked up in the description if you want to check it out. Also, you can just Google it. Just Google how many industries are being affected by AI. If you actually Google Amazon AI investment, Amazon had a press release that they did as well. You can check all that stuff out. All right, so the article says artificial intelligence could replace the equivalent of 300 million full-time jobs. A report by investment bank Goldman Sachs says it could replace a quarter of work tasks in the US and Europe, but it also means a productivity boom and it could evenly increase the total annual value of goods and services produced globally by 7%. The report also predicts two thirds of jobs in US and Europe are exposed to some sort of AI automation already. Think about it. <laughs> Most of our jobs already are or already does have some sort of AI already in it. As the article says, some degree of automation. They say Forbes also says, according to MIT and Boston University report, AI will replace as many as 2 million manufacturing workers by 2025. My guy, that's next year. <laughs> My dude, that's what, eight months? Is it even eight months? I don't know. Time be flying. We work in Amazon, so we don't really live in time. It's a little different anyways. <laughs> it's coming real quick. So it says, what jobs are most likely to be automated? The first one is on there. I don't think this is in like a great to lease order. The, um, the first one says customer service representatives. They were saying that for sure is going to be affected. Receptionists, um, accountants, bookkeepers, salespeople. Um, then they say warehouse work. Did I already say barbers? <laughs> I seen a barber. They had the AI eyelasher. Bruh, somebody sitting down and the eyelashes was being done by a robot. When we talk about people doing work in the field, right? Picking the, picking like apples and getting all the fruit and stuff, right? Oh no, yeah, we're going to have humans for that. <laughs> oh, you ain't seen? <laughs> they got robots in the field, my guy. <laughs> robots in the field, robots in the office, robots in the grocery mart. <sighs> Listen, I'm telling y'all two to three years, I think we're going to be in big trouble. So if you want to see that press release, that will be in the description. What is y'all thoughts? Time. Drop it in the comment section. How much time y'all think we got before this? This is going to be another epidemic. Like, I wonder if that's the reason why they have this basic income, universal basic income, already going through the pipeline, through the bills and all that stuff. Why else are they already planning a universal basic income for everyone? And if you've never even heard that term before, go look it up. That You may want to look that up. <laughs> but anyways, let me know your thoughts on this. Is your career in jeopardy? Is your field in jeopardy? Other than that, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a new vlog. Got more stuff coming. And I'm probably going to have to do parts on this because there's so much that I wanted to add into this video. I wanted to add in more video clips and all that, but I just didn't want to squeeze it all into one video. Kind of wanted to keep it short. Also, we go live on Thursdays at 7 p.m. So be sure to tune in. Other than that, man, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. It's your boy, SB. Let's go. I'm on my grind. 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 I get up, I get out, and get to it. I'm on my grind.